Father Christmas in the 86th Chamber of Hell in the Chamber of Damned Souls WHO Celebrate Christmas. Welcome beloved, kindly subscribe to this number one gospel channel that brings you testimonies of vision, dreams, out of body experience, God's warning of rapture and so much more. Subscribe please. Brother, I have already talked about Christmas but this time around it will be different, for it will not be preaching or teaching but a testimony. Many people celebrate this feast. Therefore, I will testify so that you can make up your mind either to continue to celebrate this holiday or not. When I had this experience in my life, I was at a point where I was being taken by the Lord to hell. I mean, I had daily experience with the Lord for a period of 351 days. I had been in hell for 351 days. And on the 86th day of this experience, the Lord came and He took me again to hell. When we arrived in hell, as usual, this was a kingdom full of fire. There was a lot of lava of fire everywhere, and I saw countless lost souls inside the lava of fire. They were numerous. I noticed that their lower parts were in the lava of fire. Brother, we have all seen lava of a volcano, how they looked like liquid molten steel. Now imagine thousands of people inside liquid lava of fire burning. I came to see that the majority of the souls that I was observing were people who were churchgoers. Beloved, the kingdom of hell is divided into 351 valleys that we call the chambers of hell. These chambers of hell are actually continents of hell. On the earth, we have five continents, but in hell, there are 351 continents. The continent of Africa and Asia put together is equal to one continent of hell. This place of torment is really vast. It is an unbearable place for the torment was great. People were crying and shouting, they were all asking for forgiveness. When I saw this horrendous scene, I was crying continually. There was no empty landscape and the places were full of fire. People were tormented by fire and demons. There was no escape in hell. I saw members of my family. In hell, I saw my grandmother and my grandfather. All these souls in hell were in pits of fire. I asked the Lord, why are all these souls in their respective pits of fire? The Lord said, when men of the earth are living in sin, they are digging a hole for themselves. They are digging an eternal pit in hell. Sinful lives provide demons with material to build your pit. Every chamber of hell was in an enclosure. And there were screams of millions rising everywhere. I heard people complaining and regretting. A lost soul said, why has my body lied and deceived me? I fulfilled the desire of the body. But this is where it led me. Everything that I strived to acquire in life, I left it on the earth and I lost my soul for eternity. Woe to me. Other souls were insulting God, for the suffering was unbearable, and there was no escape. When I saw the pain of the lost, I cried bitterly. I said to the Lord, is there no more opportunity for these souls to be redeemed? The Lord said to me, men can repent on the earth when they are alive. However, when men fall into this place, it is too late. As we were moving above these people, I saw countless lost souls lifting their arms to the Lord and asking for deliverance. When I looked, I saw that these lost souls were like rotting and they were covered with worms and fire that was burning them. Whenever these people tried to remove worms on their bodies, more worms were coming upon them. It was better to accept the ones crawling on your body instead of removing them for they will multiply. In the kingdom of hell, there were fast springing from under the ground and the fire was burning all these innumerous crowds of souls and people were crying. Seeing this torment, I was crying all the time and I was saying, Lord, pity your people. Father Christmas finally, we arrived before a gate. When I looked, I saw a man sitting before the gate. He was dressed exactly like Father Christmas. He was holding toys on his hand, and he was laughing at people that were stuck inside the gate. Above the gate of this place was written, the chambers of the damned souls who celebrate Christmas. The writing was not of this world but the Lord enabled me to understand it. I am just simplifying things so that you can understand. In hell, I saw that fire was not burning demons, impure birds, beasts and impure animals. It was only burning human souls that were in this hostile place. When I saw this writing on the gate, I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this inscription? The Lord said, all the sins that people are committing on the earth are classified in prisons and punishments in hell. This chamber that you see is built for people who are celebrating Christmas. I said, Lord, people celebrate Christmas because it is your birthday. 
The Lord replied to me, that is not the case. This celebration was instituted by the devil through the Roman Catholic Church. And the demon you see that is called Father Christmas is the unclean spirit that is seducing the world. He is a demon. This church that came up with Christmas is the representative of Satan. They have instituted this Christmas. The Lord said, there were many gods in ancient times. The emperor was worshipping the sun god. When the Romans came to Christianity, the emperor resolved to institute a feast for the Christians. The emperor said, since there is a feast of holy communion to remember the death and resurrection of Christ, we need a day of celebration in order to celebrate the sun god. This inspiration came from the devil himself who had summoned a meeting in which he told the powers of darkness, since Christians of the world don't have a day where they remember and celebrate their master. And since living in the presence of their master daily is the celebration of their God, let's come up with a day where we will tell the world that they are celebrating the birth of Christ. This will be the day the whole world and all families of the world will give me the honor. I want a day where the whole world would celebrate and worship me a day, where all the families of the earth will worship and celebrate me. That day will not be for remembering the death of Christ, for it is too powerful. When the families of the earth and the inhabitants of the earth will celebrate this day, they shall be marked by my serial 666. This resolution of Satan was implemented by the Roman Catholic Church and people who celebrate Christmas are marked with 666 for they are worshipping the devil. I saw this demon that was Father Christmas before the gate. He was saying to the damned souls in torment, Rejoice for this is your kingdom. You have accepted our proposition and you have done our will in bidding. This is your reward. God gives specific instructions about using pagan practices to worship him, the exact thing Christmas does. Notice what he says in Deuteronomy 12 30-32. Do not inquire after their gods, saying, How did these nations serve their gods? I also will do likewise. You shall not worship the Lord your God in that way, whatever I command you, be careful to observe it, you shall not add to it nor take away from it. And lest some think this is simply an Old Testament command that no longer applies, the Apostle Paul makes the same point in 2 Corinthians 6, where he addresses whether unbiblical religious customs and practices have any place in the worship of God's people. What fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what accord has Christ with Belial, the devil and or demons? Or what part has a believer with an unbeliever? And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Therefore, having these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. 2 Corinthians 6 14-18, 2 Corinthians 7, 1. Rather than relabeling pagan customs as Christian, or allowing members of the church to continue their old pagan practices, the Apostle Paul told them in no uncertain terms to leave behind all these forms of worship and worship God in true holiness as he commands. Jesus likewise says his true followers, must worship in spirit and truth, John 4:24. not revel in recycled pagan customs and symbolism. When we got to the gate, this demon ran away from the presence of the Lord. I saw the names of the people who celebrate this pagan feast on the gate. Then the gate opened. When we entered the gate of this chamber, I was feeling lost. I said, Lord, please get me out of here. I swear to tell people that hell is real. This place is unbearable. I cannot take it. The Lord said, My son, you have to see this. It is in your interest. You should tell the inhabitants of the land about these things. Brother, there was fire everywhere in this place. There was no empty space. Quickly I began to hear the voices of men and children. They were countless. These children were obsessed with the Christmas celebration on the earth. I watched and I saw that they were like decomposing and they were crying. As we were moving in this place, I saw a pit and inside the pit, there was a baby crying. He was eaten by worms. As the baby was crying the Lord allowed me to hear him. He was saying, I don't know anything. I left the earth when I was one year old. What have I done to deserve this? I asked the Lord, why is this baby here? The Lord said, the baby was initiated from the womb of her mother in witchcraft. That is why he is there. When we left this baby, I saw a toddler. He was surrounded by demons. 
These demons were cartoon characters that he was watching on the earth. The kid used to watch Snowy. As a result, Snowy was around him in this place among others. The child seems to be eight. Snowy, French, Milo, Milou, is a fictional character in The Adventures of Tintin, the comic series by Belgian cartoonist Hergé. Snowy is a white wire fox terrier who is a companion to Tintin, the series protagonist. Brother, in hell, it was difficult to identify people for they were rotting and they were skeletons. You will recognize people thanks to their voices for they were covered with worms. The child was crying and calling the name of his mother and father. For when you fall into hell, you will remember your family and loved ones that you left on the earth. I asked the Lord, why was this child there? The Lord said, when this child was on the earth, his parents were always buying him gifts and presents for Christmas. But whenever his parents failed to buy him presents and clothes, he was crying and bothering his parents. He was shouting and imposing himself and saying, I must celebrate Christmas. His parents were so pressured that they had to do what it takes to buy him Christmas presents and clothes. When new clothes were bought for him, he was happy to go play with other kids. Since the child was doing this every Christmas, the devil put the mark 666 on the child, for he had become a worshipper of Father Christmas who represented everything for the child. This was actually the worship of Father Christmas. The Lord said, You shall have no other God than me. Christmas has become more that matters for children and Father Christmas has become a God for children. When Christmas comes, they become impatient and there is the heartbeat. When we left this pit, we went to another pit where I saw a man and a woman inside. They were in chains and they were skeletons. They were saying to one another, I am here because of you. It is your fault. Quickly the Lord told them to keep quiet. When I looked at these two people, I saw that there were no eyes in their eye sockets for the fire had consumed their eyes and worms were coming out of their eye sockets. They were saying, Lord, have mercy on us. They were on their knees and were asking for mercy. But the Lord said, My children, it is too late. I saw that Jesus was crying for their souls. Jesus said, You had all the time on the earth to repent. Once you fell here, there is nothing I can do. The Lord said, You see, this man and woman were boyfriend and girlfriend. When Christmas of the year 2013 had come, they went to the restaurant to eat and had a good time. It is when they were coming back that they had an accident in the National Boulevard in the city. I asked the Lord, what is that they did wrong? The Lord said, you shall not have other gods before me. They wanted to celebrate Christmas. And this is their condemnation. Brother, just imagine, just because of the celebration of this holiday called Christmas, the souls of these people were lost. Jesus had not finished talking when we heard someone behind us calling the Lord and saying, Jesus, please get me out of this place. I have suffered enough. We went towards the pit where the voice was coming from. I saw that as we were going there, the Lord was crying and shedding tears like someone who has lost a loved one. Then I saw from the pit a woman who was crying, there were no eyes in her eye sockets for her flesh was burned. I saw that in her pit there was like a huge pan full of meat, but there was a voice shouting, Justice. I said, Lord, what did she do? The Lord said, this woman was not going out to celebrate Christmas, but every Christmas she was cooking a lot of food and meat and inviting people to come and celebrate. Then one Christmas day after the cooking, she was shouting in the street, Merry Christmas, to everyone. When she was shouting, Merry Christmas, the principality of Christmas came and said to her spirit, since you have been shouting my name I have come, and this demon entered her house. The lady could not see the demon of Christmas that we call Father Christmas. A few days later she fell sick and died. On that day of her death, Father Christmas came and cast her soul in this place. She never knew that she invited this demon inside her place. Seeing these things, I cried a lot. The lady said to the Lord, Master, you know that I served you faithfully. I was doing the arrangements in the church and I was carrying the Bible of the pastor. I was paying my tithes. I was doing evangelism. Jesus said, I know the works you have done for me. But you were imprudent and complacent for you knew my word and my principles, but you went on to celebrate this holiday willingly. You ignored the voice of the Spirit because of a lack of vigilance. By celebrating this holiday you went to worship this God of Christmas, who is a demon. You shall have no other God than me. It is too late and there is nothing I can do. Then we moved to another pit where I saw four children. 
They were holding fiery hammers and they were beating a woman with their hammers. They said, we did nothing wrong. But this woman brought us here. She is the one who taught us to celebrate Christmas every year. That is why we are here. The Lord said, this lady is the mother of these four children. She used to buy her children's clothes every year at Christmas and they were celebrating. One day they were on a bus and they had an accident and they died. The mother said to the Lord, the children were piling pressure on me every Christmas to buy them new clothes, and I had no choice but to please them in order to have peace. I wanted to please them. The Lord said, my daughter, it is written, do not conform to the present world. You are not of this world. Brother, we cannot do things and follow the traditions of the world because the people of this world are doing it. We are not of this world. Let us learn to use the freedom that we have received from the Spirit. The Lord said, My daughter, time is gone for you. As we were moving in this place, there were pits everywhere with people shouting because of pain. There were demons mocking these souls in this place. They were saying, You people were worshipping Father Christmas by celebrating Christmas. This is your kingdom. You will celebrate and worship Father Christmas here forever. Why are you crying? You are in your kingdom. This is your kingdom forever. While we were in this chamber of hell, I saw the gate where we had entered this chamber of hell. I saw demons coming in the gate with a number of children. They were pulling these children with wires that were attached to their tongues. The Lord said, What you see are the newcomers. They've died on the earth and they have the mark of Father Christmas 666 on their forehead. They were crying for help. The Lord had a love for these souls. But he kept saying, too late, too late. Beloved, how many times have you and I celebrated this pagan holiday? Then I saw at a distance a soul that was inside the liquid lava. His belly was like four meters and demons were piercing his belly with javelins. The Lord said, this man has lived 55 years on the earth from birth until death. He celebrated Christmas every year. He never missed celebrating. He was buying food and clothes and going out to celebrate. He kept telling his wife, we must celebrate and enjoy this time of life. I am happy to be with you. The Lord said, all the food that he had eaten in all the Christmas celebration all these years are in his belly. That is why it is that way. Jesus said, demons will pierce him forever. And I saw that he was unable to stand up because of his belly. He was calling the name of his pastor but it was too late. He was there inside the fire. Then I saw a preacher in hell preaching and telling lost souls, do not celebrate Christmas as it is of the devil. I saw that some souls were asking for forgiveness, other souls were insulting him. I asked the Lord, why has this preacher fallen in this place? The Lord said, in his church, he was preaching that people can celebrate Christmas. Every Christmas children were invited and given presents in his church. When he died, he realized that he was in error. That is why you see him preaching this way, but it is too late for him. When we got to him, he said, Lord, pity me. I did your work in one souls on earth. And when I fell into hell, I realized my mistake. That is why I am preaching here and many souls believe me. Get me out here. The Lord said, lying servant, you knew my word, but you wanted to follow the celebration of the world and you preached that celebrating Christmas was okay. It is too late. When we were leaving, this preacher began to insult the Lord and he was blaspheming. The Lord was in tears. In this place, I saw cardinals of our country. I will not quote their names. I saw Catholic priests and popes. This was unbearable. There were people in the river of lava of fire. Some were looking for a way to get out, but there was no place to hide. They were laying in the river of fire. People were calling for help and saying, what have we done to deserve this torment? The wall of the enclosure of this place was also burning with great fire. In this chaos, I was hearing a voice saying, increase the temperature. For every half an hour, there was an increase in the temperature of the lava. You cannot imagine what I am talking about. There were incessant screams. You cannot imagine this horrendous place. In this place, I saw a cardinal with a popular school in our city. He was surrounded by kids that were grabbing him. They were saying, Father, you are the one who brought us here. These children were joined by faithful believers of the Catholic Church. They were tormenting the cardinal saying, we have come here because of you. Brother, after seeing these torments of hell, my life will never be the same again. 
Father Christmas in the 86th Chamber of Hell in the Chamber of Damned Souls WHO Celebrate Christmas. Welcome beloved, kindly subscribe to this number one gospel channel that brings you testimonies.